Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do this like shared nursery, I guess. Like but we currently are going to be sharing a bedroom with sis and um, we did with Cash too for the first five months, but all he had like his own room and that was like the nursery that was already set up. Um, whereas with her, we're in a small three bedroom apartment. So we're gonna be sharing a room with her until we can get out of here. And hopefully it'll be before she's six months old because the baby shares the room with you anyways when they're first five months old. I wanted to share what I did with my room to have her in here with us and just trying to do the best with the situation that I'm in and what I have to work with. So this is like the cute little setup that I did in my room um, to make things easier and invite baby girl into the world. So I'll go ahead and get into it and show you guys. So I guess I'll show you from like when you first walk in and then over here to the left, I have her diaper genie and her dresser, which I will link everything down below because this dresser I highly, highly recommend getting. It's from Ikea. And then I bought different knobs to put on and the knobs are from Home Depot. They're these really cute wooden knobs and they're like flat. And this is the white stain dresser. So it's like a stain finish and not a paint. And then I got this um, lamp here from Target. Super stinking cute because I'm like all about the boho vibe. This is her headband stand. Got that from TJ Maxx with her little bows. And I think I have like 10 on there right now. It looks like a lot more, but I'm only going to get like limit to 15 bows. Um, unless like, like a lot of them, they go with outfits. So I don't count the ones that go with outfits as extra bows. And then I have this little container here I got from Target to put her binkies in. This wipe warmer I got from Target as well. I love this one because it's sleek, it's white, it's not gaudy and like green and blue or whatever the, all the other ones were anywhere else I was finding them. Then I got this changing pad here with this really cute peach cover. And then over here is a bucket I'm gonna put like all my nursing stuff in. Like right now I have my disposable uh, nursing pads, um, my haka, which this is a different type of haka. I highly recommend this one because it's flat and it can go right in your bra. Whereas the other one was big and it always would pop off my nipple and get milk everywhere. So if you're gonna get a haka, I highly recommend this one. It's like the little ladybug one. So for you, those that don't know, this is, you put this on the other boob when you're breastfeeding because the other one will leak. And that way you can catch the milk and save it. And I got my nipple butter, butters in there and creams and stuff. Not much in there right now. I'm, I'm going to add to it. And then over here, I have her little setup. Um, I put this really cute rat and hanger up with like this little outfit and a couple swaddles just to kind of like give the room a little... Um, uh, pretty like decor look to it and then back here I put her bouncer from baby B baby Bjorn super excited to use that bouncer so I'm like just trying to use my space as wisely as possible because we have such little of it and then I got this really amazing glider slash rocker from Target and I am obsessed with it it's so comfortable so cute put a um I got a throw blanket that I bought from Target and I put on there just to kind of give it some cute like decor look then this pillow here I got from Amazon. And then over here I have like a little boho rat and table that I got from Target. It's like a little side table. I just got Cash a side table too for his room. And you guys, it makes a huge difference to have a side table. Like I didn't have one until just now with Cash and he's 18 months old. So this is going to make a huge difference. Um, then over here is my um, going to be my nursing pillow. This straps around your body. And it's got like little pockets for drinks and you um, can walk around while breastfeeding. This is gonna help me out so big because when I was breastfeeding Cash, she was eating like every half hour and I could never get off the couch. So that is gonna be a huge help. And then I have this little salt lamp here for the night light that I'm gonna turn on when I feed her in the middle of the night um, because I heard that you want a soft like red light when they wake up in the night so they don't think it's time to wake up. And then over here, this is my fiance side of the bed. So over here, I'm kind of just using up his space, but um, we each have like little baskets for stuff under there, but this is her hamper. And then in my closet, I have these 
organization storage cubes. So I have one up there and then these two here. And they just kind of have like um, extra stuff of hers in them. Like I'll go ahead and show you. This one has extra diapers. Um, the uh, pillow, Cash had a really bad reflux. So I, um, this is the pillow I used for him. So I kept it. I don't know if she's going to, so I don't know if I'm going to need that. So like when he got diaper changes and stuff, I had to put that on his mat to lift up his head a little bit more. But then these are like extra clothes for when she's bigger, um, bibs for when she's bigger, some breastfeed um, pump bags, which I should probably put that with my breastfeeding bucket because I'm going to need those. And then some bibs for when she gets bigger, um, her high chair blow up thing, and then this cute little mug that I got for the baby shower. Um, so you have just extra stuff in that one. And then... And then in this one, I just have uh, bigger clothes, so like six to nine month clothes, basically. I think this is all that that is. Yeah, this whole bin is just bigger clothes because I don't have, I didn't want to put it in the dresser and take up room when I'm using the dresser drawers for other things. So I just put them in here for when she gets bigger. So that's it for that. And then the last one, I have stuffed animals it looks like some toys for when she gets bigger a bunch of different binkies just in case she doesn't like the ones that um i'm using for cash the bibs one so it's just extra miscellaneous in this one so yeah that is it for the storage in my closet i believe don't mind cash in the background he's um screaming at me he's in his high chair eating his peanut butter and jelly so I'm going to go put these in my little bin here. I'm going to figure out what else I'm going to put in here too that I'm going to use. But um, I am going to use a salt lamp for now for the night light. But then I'm, uh, I just ordered on Amazon this little circle one that you push the button. Um, I'll go ahead and insert it here and then link it down below. And I think that's going to be way better. Um, so because you just push the button and it's going to be a better lighting too. Like more of a night light light um because this one here i don't know how well it'll light up the room so it's like a red light so we'll see which one i like better and then i'll probably end up putting a bucket down here with some stuff in it i don't know yet and this is her like little rat and boho um bassinet and i'm obsessed with it um it is so stinking cute i just hope it's as practical as it is cute and it's got the wood legs and it rocks. And then inside of it, I put the Snuggle Me Organic Lounger. I don't know if it's going to work because it looks a little, like, a bit much. But I wanted her to have extra comfort. So I'll try and see if that'll work. I know I kept it in Cash's, um, Cash's bassinet. But his was much bigger. And then it's got this soft um, wrap that went on the inside. So it's not like it, it won't be comfortable without it in there. I just wanted to try and see. And then this comes like right off, like you just pick it up and you can move her wherever and have her lay right in the, the bassinet. It's super awesome. And it wasn't that expensive either compared to a lot of other really cute bassinets that I wanted that were pretty on the pricey side. So now I'll go ahead and get into how I organized her dresser. So in this first drawer here, I've got the wipes and diapers. And this is like a little newborn photo shoot outfit I just kind of stuck on the side for, for now. And so you can see I got all the diapers here. I got some Pampers ones that I had left over, just like normal Pampers. But these are Pampers Aqua Pure diapers and I've been using them for cash and they are like the best diapers. And then Pampers Aqua Pure wipes, will not use any other wipes. Those are the best wipes. And then in this store here, I have hair care, teething care and nail, and nail care. And then I have like this little Frida thing here. I just have the steps so I know, know how to use it. It's to help get rid of her cradle cap sooner because Cash's cradle cap is still here. And it's because I didn't do anything to try and like eliminate it in the beginning. So I have her brush, her comb, and these little inserts are from Ikea too. I love them. But look how cute the drawers are. Look how stinking cute is this dresser. And it smells so good, like fresh wood. And then I have this. 
It is a um, like thing for ears and nose. So it does nose, nail, ear, and etc. Utility tip for miscellaneous, it says. So I kept that so I know how to use it. And that's what it looks like. So I'm excited about that. And then like a little emergency kit. So in here, I just kind of left it. I'll probably end up putting this in a diaper bag, but it's like a little to-go kit with a comb and brush and toothbrush and teething thing, um, nail clippers. So I kind of just threw that in this drawer for now until I figure out where I want to put it. So that's it for that drawer. And you come over here and I have lotions, butt cream and burp cloths. So these are Burt's Bees Burt Cloths here and they have the cutest designs, I'm obsessed. And then these are just um, like muslin washcloths, but I'm gonna use them as burp cloths because they're pretty big. And then I got this brand from Target. You can only get it online, it's Pipette. It's an all natural brand and it is amazing. This is like a paste, so it heals like redness and like, like chafing and stuff, but it's not like an actual diaper cream. They have diaper cream as well, I gotta get that. But I've even used this because I have been getting rashes from the toilet paper at the hospital. So this has been clearing them up with like not even a day. It's like gone instantly. This is amazing. And then I got the baby lotion, of course. And then the um, shampoo and body wash. So that's that. And then in this last small drawer, I have hats and socks and mittens. So I got all her little cute socks and her little booties as well. And then her her hats, which I probably won't use hats very much, but they all came with the outfits that you get, you know. And then little bibs, I won't probably use these because I didn't use them with cash, but then there's like little bibs in there as well. And then come down to the first big drawer. And this is all of her smaller clothes like for what i'm going to be using right away zero to three month outfits zero to three month onesies right here and then gowns and zero to three month jammies so that's how i have that organized but the onesies in the middle and i always roll everything because it makes it makes it so there's so much more room and you come over here and this is the three to six month outfit drawer. So that's outfits, three to six month onesies in the middle, and then three to six months jammies, and then gowns, gowns are right here. And then some jammies back there. And then come to this drawer. And this is gonna be blankets, crib sheets, and covers. So like car seat covers, um, lounger covers, um, breastfeeding covers, that kind of thing are all in here. And then her her blankets in here are in here as well. And then these are the crib sheets. And over here is just kind of like a storage um, drawer and then uh, swaddles and wraps. So I'll put her swaddles and stuff here. And then like baby wraps, like where you baby wear are right in here as well. And then this, probably take out and put on her car seat. Yeah, it's this little car seat toy. And this is her um, Hatch Baby Sound Machine. Cash has the same exact one. I'm obsessed with it. And then this is a little mesh bag to put the Ollie swaddle in when you wash it so it doesn't ruin the Velcro. So yeah, that is what I have. Oh, it's so hard to move and breathe right now. <laughs> so that is what I have in her dresser. And then um, I also wanted to throw in this video, like this footage that I'm gonna throw in here was um, taken like completely different time, but I wanted to throw it in here because I didn't get a chance to put it in a different video. It is the thank you baskets I made for my sister-in-law and mother-in-law. I'm really obsessed with the idea that I did, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So if you want to, you can do that as well. I'm going to have them for my nurses too. So I'm gonna throw that footage in here right now. So this is all the stuff that I got for the baskets. And um, so for this, I um, like this stuff that's not food, I got from Walmart. So I got them each a dry shampoo. And this one looked like a good brand. So I was like, mm, we'll try this one. So I got one of each of those. And then I know this is a good brand as you guys have seen like on my Instagram stories and whatnot. 
of this brand. And then I also have the body wash and I'm gonna try the shampoo and conditioner. So I got this one. Um, what's this one? The Murmuru Butter and Rose, which sounds like it smells so good. And then I got this one, um, Argan Oil and Lavender. So I got one of each for the baskets for them. Then I got them some scrunchies. They have really thick um, hair. So I got them some nice, like, ouchless, big scrunchie, or hair ties, not scrunchies. And then I got them one of, each one of these. There's, it's called the S'mores Collection. There's graham cracker, marshmallow, and salted, or no, milk chocolate. What'd that say right there? Oh, sealed for protection. I thought it was salted. I think this one's marshmallow. Yeah, marshmallow. So I got them those. And then I picked up these baskets. Man. <sighs> Sorry if I sound like I'm like dying, but I'm like so out of breath I can barely breathe. Baby girl is ready to come out of the she has no more room. So I got these baskets from Target. You can get them in any color. They're about six bucks a piece to put all the stuff in. And then I got these instant uh, coffees. Thought, you know, they might get tired or whatnot. or just need some energy taking care of Cash and Sean. And I got them some M&Ms. So I got them a couple unhealthy snacks. And then I got them some healthy ones. And then I got them some gum. These look really good, so I just picked these ones. And then the cube ones are always really good. I think they last longer, too. And then I heard of this brand, Pop Chips. And it's like a healthy brand. I've never tried it, but I hope they like it. I got this one. They're um, corn chips. It says non-GMO, gluten-free, never fried, always real. So I like that. And then... So I got one of each of those for them, but I didn't realize, I thought these were like more personalized bags and they ended up being like a full size bag of chips. Um, but this is the same brand. Um, these are the potato sea salt ones. And then I got, I also got this brand, uh, I mean flavor barbecue. I got those. And then I got them some of these Luna or Luna, oh my gosh, Lara bars. So I got eight, I'll just put four in each of their baskets. And then of course some uh, trail mix. Everybody loves some good trail mix. And then I got these, I'm excited about these. I actually might steal one and try it because I've never had, had it before. It's like a healthy beef jerky. Um, they're grass fed and finished. Um, let's see, yeah, zero sugar. Gluten free, what did I say? Certified paleo, GMO, non GMO. So, yeah, and they're called Chomps, Chomplings. <laughs> so, I got them each one of those. So, yeah, that is all the stuff that I got. And I'm gonna go ahead and put together the baskets real quick. And then I forgot I also made them little thank you cards. Um, so it says thank you on the one side. This one is for um, my mother-in-law. And it says thank you for being one of those rare people who are willing to go the extra mile for others and for giving so much of yourself. I hope you know how much I appreciate you for all you are, for all you do. We love you so much. And then this one here I got for my sister-in-law. If I were to write about all the reasons that I am grateful for you on a little piece on little pieces of paper, they would fill up an entire room. You are amazing and I am so blessed to have you in my life. Thank you for everything you are. So those are going to go in each of their baskets.
So I totally forgot to make a ending to this video. So this is yet another day. Today is, oh my gosh, what day is it? The 29th of April. And baby girl has still not come. My belly is so large. I have no more room. Busting out of all my clothes. I hear you. Little man's over there eating his dinner, yelling at me. So I wanted to close out this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed the little baskets and it gave you an idea in the nursery, gave you some ideas. I also wanted to mention, cause I forgot to show, I have blackout blinds up on my window as well. So there's two paper blackout blinds and then we're gonna have a pull down one. It's kind of like a projector, that is what it looks like. And then curtains, just like Cash's room, so that we can have it nice and dark in there, because that is a huge, huge help uh, if you're a new mom, um, having the room completely dark for naps and sleeping during the day, like when the sunlight's out, definitely helps. Like I didn't have that at first with Cash, and I really believe that's why he didn't didn't nap very well, um, is because of that. So once we got those, it really helped. Anyways, if you have any suggestions or comments or anything, leave them below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Say bye, mister. Where is he? Do you see him? Say bye. Good job.